Hey everybody, this is Joby and I uh, wanted to show you guys some things you can sell that you might already have, you never know. And uh, these are just some items that are either easily makeable or easily obtainable that you could sell in the trader. Alright, so I'm here at my trader, Breaking the Wheel 2, Great Guild. And uh, all you need to do is go into your trader. And let's look at sugar skulls. If you have the recipe, it's not that bad to make. And uh, all we do is uh, hold X to search. So 450 per, you can sell those. Fairly cheap. Um, you know, it's not one of the best things to sell though, but I just wanted to show you. Clovian Wartort is excellent. 750 for one. You can um, you can make it, but this, you know, I'll warn you, this recipe to farm is hard. You have to be in Cyrodiil. You look under plants for it. Sometimes they're lit up, and then you can get the recipe like that. If you want to buy it, it's about 750000 gold, and uh, not easy to obtain. But because, you know, they're 750 a piece, it doesn't take anything to make them. It's real simple ingredients. So this is a definite great profit margin. All right, the next thing is um, Frosted Brains. Easy to make. Max Magica and Health Recovery. Let's do a little check here. Okay, there's none. So they're not that good. This is good. Ghastly Eyeball. 290 each. Increase Max Magica by 4,592 and Magical Recovery by 459. So it's like a real overpowered Witch's Brew, except that, um, you know, all you get is Max Magica and Max re uh, Magica Recovery. So that's specialized food, mostly PvP. Lava Foot's another one. It's max stamina by 49.36 and stamina recovery by 4.93. But you uh, probably need to be in a group for that. It's uh, going to have to have a healer. All right, so let's uh, check it out. There's They're 190 each, which isn't a lot. But like these Lava Foot, Ghastly Bowl, and Frosted Brains, they're uh, super easy to make. And the recipes are easily available during festivals. You can buy the recipes in the trader, but... You know, this is just an option. I'm trying to tell you if you already have these recipes, you might consider making them and uh, selling them in the in your trade guild. Clovian War Tort's going to be great, though. Uh, really easy to make, and um, if you have the recipe. If you don't, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't suggest going out and trying to buy it because 750,000 gold. Your return's going to be slow. All right, so I have some other things. I mean, you know, these rune boxes, they're probably going for five, five gold. Not 8,000, that's not too bad. Um, if we look down here, if we keep going, uh, refined bone mold resin, it should be fairly expensive. Uh, yeah, those are 4,500 each. All right. That's because they only come from the, the Lalu style. Okay. And, uh, it's hard to get. You have to go to, uh, Vardenfell and crush up all the gear that you get and you'll get some pieces of it. I have quite a few, as you can see, I have a uh, 107. But I'm not going to sell it because I use it for furnishing. Shimmering Sand. I uh, have 200 of those. And they sell four. Oh, that's cheap. 1,670. Normally they sell for like 3,000. And, uh, you know, this guy's selling that for 1,650. I'm going to buy it. Just cut the market out. So Shimmering Sand for 3,000. Made a lot of money with those. I was doing... Uh, dragons in northern elsewhere on six characters a day and so i just built it up and then i realized wow you can sell those so i was selling them at the time they were going for four thousand though now they're only three thousand people love elsewhere furniture all right let's look at something else now uh vitrified Mondo and have 91 we built a lot of stuff with the house those are five thousand each you get them from somerset doing the uh the quest so you know five thousand each uh you could just drop it down to four and uh, make some make some quick cash, but uh, that's up to you. Now there's some other things. Let me see what we got. Uh, it's not worth it to sell soul gems. That's it for what's in my inventory for right now. I mean, if I go out and show you stuff in my craft bag, it's a little bit packed. I have like a lot of stuff, but I would never sell any of this stuff because I use it to make potions. Uh, bait is always pretty good. You can sell that if you have a lot. Uh, with blacksmithing, you know, tempers sell really well, but, 
you know, you have to farm that. Some more work, and I would never sell any of my gold mats. Drew wax, drog wax, dre wax, dro wax. I don't know, and I don't care. But it does sell very well. Uh, elegant lining's another one, but uh, I don't. I keep all that because I'm a crafter. Kudus always sell. Haji Haji sell too. Kudus are a great seller, but the price fluctuates quite a bit, anywhere from 3.5 to like you know 6,000. Just depends. I don't know really what controls the market. There's a couple other ones. There's also that uh, Indeco. I have a lot of Indeco. Oh, well, not a lot. I have like 35, I think. Well, it's not there. Wait a minute. Indeco. This is only for jewelry recovery, and it's uh, you know 36 of them. I don't know. I don't know how much they sell for. I wouldn't sell them, though, so I'm not even going to talk about it. Alchemical resin, bast, you know, those dwarven construct, construct repair parts sell for probably, I don't know, 10000 each. They're real expensive. Mundane runes, they're great. Chromium grains are always going to be a big seller. Um, another one is uh, plating, zircon plating, about 30000 each. But I need all that stuff, so I never sell it. I'm not even going to talk about it. Arxan sprockets are good. Um, you get those from the Reach, from killing ads. Uh, there's some other things I used to make a bunch of money off of, uh, but these days maybe not so much. Dragon Bone, those probably go for ten thousand each. You can only get those in uh, Scale Caller Peak, I believe. And uh, you have to kill the dragon, and then you get that Dwarf Frame sell for a lot. These things. Like I said, I use it for furniture. Would never sell any of it. Hackwing plumage is another one that's good. It's easy to get. Merkmire, go for about 3000 each for uh, Argonian style furniture. Just mentioning, you can try anything. If you're in a guild, take it out, search, run around, look at all the other people. C Cyrodiil Citrus, this is doesn't sell for anything, but this is what you need to make the Colovium War Tarts. The reason that people want the torts or torty or whatever it's called, don't care. It just comes from doing the quests in Cyrodiil. Perfect Row is always a big seller. I only have one. Get it from fishing. About 14000 Real expensive now. Perfect Rose for, you know, um, things like uh, the citrus filet and those real expensive foods that I don't think are worth it to use it. But, you know, if you're a Mac min maxer, you might want it. Uh, rosin is another one that sells a lot. All the normal materials like rough ruby ash um, rubidite or platinum that's how you can make a lot of you know a lot of gold in a trader but it's a lot more work probably the best way to get those you know get rosin and tempers and just the raw materials is to do surveys now if we go over here to my inventory and we look at slottables I have tons of surveys uh, these alchemy surveys you know I have blacksmithing surveys I have clothing surveys. You can see I'm real lazy. I don't do them. I do them sometimes, but, you know, I have a lot of jewelry surveys. I have them in my bank. I have them in my boxes in my house. Uh, I bring them out and do them when I either want to sell something or when I want to, uh, you know, get some materials and stuff like that. And then you just refine them. If you're a crafter, you can make lots and lots and lots of gold if you're willing to work. But if you just want to do dungeons and trials and, you know, run around and stuff, uh, you know, that's not going to be the way to make the money. Well, that's it, really. I just wanted to mention a couple of other ways. You know, everybody comes on the comment section whenever I do anything about selling. They're like, oh, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. Just sell Rubidite. Okay, yeah, we know that. Everybody knows that. All right. Run around in a circle, pick up materials, and bring it to your trade guild and sell it. Okay? We know that. Thank you. But, uh, I'm trying to give alter alternatives that, you know, can make you a little bit of gold and they're less work because farming stuff, you know, just going out and running around, it is brutal, at least to me. I know there's some people in these trade guilds and that's all they do. They don't do dungeons or trials. If they want skins, they just get carried because they're rich. People with, you know, billion gold. No, yeah, you don't believe me. I know. I don't care. But there are those people. Trust me. In a trade guild, if you look at the biggies that have been in there for quite some time, those people are multi-millionaire and a couple of billionaire because they've been playing the game for years, and that's all they do. They farm stuff and sell it. So they buy whatever they want, and that's their enjoyment, and that's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? 
Well, all right. So please give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything that you'd like to see or if you have any ideas about a video. If I haven't already done a video about it and I like your idea, just might do it. Join me on Discord, the most chill Discord server on the planet. There's a link in the description. If you're not doing anything, 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, follow me on Twitch. Upper Echelon Mediocrity is the name of the channel. Just one word, and uh, we have a great time. Come in there, talk in the chat, ask me a question if you have any problems. If I know the answer to your question, I'll be more than happy to help you. If you're on Xbox One, North American server, you can join my guild. My guild's name is Upper Echelon Mediocrity. Right now we have 480 total members, no members pending, 55 people online. Lots of helpful, friendly people. And uh, you can just insert yourself, say hi and chat, and uh, ask for crafting or you know, research or anything, and uh, somebody will get with you. I'm not in the Guild Finder, so you have to send me a message on Xbox. My name is K-O-D-C-H-A-O-T-Y, and I'll get you in as soon as time permits. All right. So until that time, let's get paid. Thank you.